All right, here we go. Again. People say it's hard to survive the wasteland. Hey, how hard could it be? The water glows in the dark, and it burns. What? I try to be frank and earnest with women. In New <laughs> Reno, I'm frank, and in the boneyard, I'm earnest. Oh, no! A ghoul goes to a doctor and says, Doctor, doctor, I have this horrible rash. The doctor says, Son, that's called your face. Ding dong. So I hear Mr. House runs the strip. He took it over from the last guy. Mr. Mob infested hellhole. Did he just say that? I love these robots with their friendly little policemen faces. Sure, they still rough you up, but they look so happy. I take my wife everywhere, but somehow she keeps finding her way back. I did it. Hey, what about that suit Benny wears? If I had a suit like that, the ladies would be all over me. What? You expect a punchline? The guy pays my salary. It's true. Hey, come on, lady. I'm trying to put on a show here. Hmm. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. Huh. <clears throat> the name's Knight. Billy Knight. And this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you. Oi. That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point! Hmm. Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for a hundred a night. No, fifty. No, twenty. Ten. Just don't rob me. I'll do it. Huh. Whoa, jeez, what was I thinking? You're right. I gotta go in there with a cool head. Tell them how much I'm really worth. You're welcome, dickhead. Who would have thought a place like this would exist? Huh. <clears throat> what the fuck are you doing here? Seriously, what the fuck are you doing inside the room? Hmm. That was weird. <clears throat> Mr. Happy Face. Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Top So Telling Cas... Uh. Smooth. Alright, now goodbye. <clears throat> Where am I going? Oh, shit. Everyone's running. Hmm. Alright, where are you? Let's see. Where's this last guy? I have one ticket left. <clears throat> Huh, here you are. <clears throat> I got to hand it to you, baby. You did an 18 carat job on this one. My schedule's so full, I couldn't put on new acts if I wanted to. <laughs> Cowboy act? Yeah. He dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. 5% of the cut comes to 166 caps. Hmm. Don't spend them all in one place now, unless it's right here. You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Hmm. Here's your 5%, baby. You enjoy that. Huh. That comedian, you mean? Yeah. He was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Hmm. Hope he's worth it. Here's your 5%. That ugly mug with the razor tongue? <laughs> Take it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act, just like Tommy promised. Here's your 5%. <clears throat> You know it, baby. Huh. Dig it, baby. He beat feet to his sweet. You scare the big boss man or something? <laughs> now, why would you want to go... Here I... Alright. It's... Alright, goodbye. Accepted. <clears throat> hey. Hey. All right, let's go find the NCR. Seriously, though. Earlier on, why were they both at the door? Why did they both try and shoot each other? <coughs> hmm. And quests. Uh, recover the platinum kit. 
<clears throat> now I'm not doing that shit yet. We. Something you gotta give. Something you gotta give. Inaccessible. Hmm. Is it holding the frame up or something? <clears throat> oh. I have no idea why my legs are sore as hell. It feels like growing pains, but I'm t I'm 24 years old. Why haven't, why aren't I done growing yet? <laughs> Oof. Oh my god, this feels weird. <clears throat> All right, go find the NCR. Your move, free. Welcome to Vegas. Weapons. <laughs> okay, why are we still on the grass when there's a perfectly good bench right there? Huh. Let's see. Michelangelo's. Here we go. This strip is the safest place in New Vegas. Huh. Can I help you? <laughs> you can find him in the main embassy building, inside the gate and to your left. Thank you. The usual? Troopers getting drunk and causing problems? Like that's a surprise to anyone. <laughs> Hell, I plan on getting drunk once I'm done with my shift. Maybe even head over to Gamora for a good time. <laughs> This is the NCR Embassy, our little slice of heaven on the strip. The main building houses administration, while the other... Alright, enough of that. Who are you? Nope. Just lost a month's caps. Don't be carrying any guns into the casino. We've heard about you from the officers of our embassy. Hmm. <laughs> That's the embassy. Uh, which was it? Well, if you're looking to join up, head on by the embassy. Police. All right, this must be them. We. We. Welcome to the NCR. Uh huh. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Okay. I don't have time to give my life story to everyone that passes through. Is there something I can... Hmm. The embassy offices are... Alright, uh... Goodbye. On our left. Nice. I'm talking about better springs. Me and uh, fucking uh, what's his face? Hmm. Nope. Wrong room. I gave a nice room. I'm glad you could make it. I have <coughs> something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person How are you for typing? the job. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. Hmm. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person <clears throat> that would either. Mm -hmm. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. Hmm. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. Not me. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, 
you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR. I have no crimes. As well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you... Uh... That's excellent news. So they'll help us, right? Hmm. Let me know as soon as you have an answer from them. Okay, uh... Things that go boom. I can provide a quick history lesson. In 2274, President Kimball sent the NCR army into the Mojave in force with the objective of occupying and repairing Hoover Dam. Rangers and army scouts had confirmed that the dam was basically unoccupied and could be restored to an operable condition. Mm -hmm. Upon arriving at the dam, however, they discovered that a large force of tribals and robots had occupied it. This was our introduction to the three families, the Securitrons and, of course, Mr. House. Huh. Using his Securitrons as intermediaries, Mr. House called for parlay. Hmm. He claimed his forces had occupied <clears throat> Hoover Dam in order to safeguard it for our arrival. And that he was ready to turn it over to us, so long as we could agree to terms. Hmm. Those terms became the Treaty of New Vegas. The treaty recognized Mr. House's sovereignty over the Strip and granted us rights to establish military bases at the dam and McCarran Airport. The NCR is legally permitted to send 95% of the electricity produced by the dam to our home states. The remaining 5% goes to the Strip. Uh -huh. The treaty actually makes it illegal for the NCR to prevent its citizens or troops on furlough from visiting the Strip. Once on the Strip, our citizens are subject to arrest or punishment by House of Securitrons, though that's a rare occurrence. Huh. Our troops enjoy a different status. It's illegal for the Securitrons to take action against them. Of course, it's also illegal for our troops to carry firearms on the Strip, so there isn't much trouble they can get into. Mm -hmm. Our military police does an <clears> adequate <throat> job of keeping the troops on furlough in line. I don't envy them that task. Poor bastards. The embassy was established a few weeks after the treaty was signed. Basically, Mr. House handed us a dumpy little building he had no interest in renovating. Huh. I'm the third ambassador to hold this post, and the first, I think, to accept its limitations. My predecessors had ambitions of engineering the annexation of the Mojave. They thought they'd convince Mr. House to join up. I've never even spoken to the man, or whatever he is. Maybe the situation will change once we've beaten the Legion once and for all. Mm -hmm. Now we mostly just keep track of the NCR citizens and troopers around and make sure they don't get in trouble. But that's Captain Papa's job. Huh. I keep myself busy with paperwork and reports that get sent back to the NCR. It's mostly busy work. But every once in a while, we make progress. Huh. Interested in politics? I've been in politics quite a while. I started my... Yeah, I managed boring. President... No, I was... No. no, I've had my share of ups... That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Oh, wrong way. I'm wrong to say about this. Where is she? Talk to. What's up? Doesn't say. Uh. I like punching things, <laughs> but sometimes shooting things just has to do. Hmm. Yeah, I've been taking things apart and putting them back together since before I said my first word. You want to build something? Talk to me, and we can do it right there on the spot. Workbenches are for novices. I like her. Who knows? I might even be able to show you a brotherhood. Uh... It pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. What do you... Huh. <laughs> Good question. These days, it's hard to say. Once upon mm -hmm. a time, it was about technology. Controlling it so it couldn't destroy us again. Energy weapons and power armor are usually tops on our list, although I appreciate anything that's vintage. But that all seems so limited now. We haven't grown or adapted, and now we're stuck in a hole. <laughs> More sexual favors than I can even count. I am still tired from it. No, actually, you're born awesome. into it. My parents, their parents, so on. When you're young, you can choose to leave, but it's home, so most people don't. <laughs> we don't take on new members, really. You can do the math on our long-term prospects based on that point. I... <sighs> I'm a procurement specialist. Like I okay, enough of that. Uh, skip that. Ah, the Codex. If it's in there, we have to abide it. If it's not, it's not important. It documents our history, too. Mm -hmm. Nah. 
Okay, uh... No, no. We only protect people from themselves, and only in the sense that we don't let them have the really good pre-war toys. And sometimes it's more like we... Pre We've had people go rogue, though, and start helping people. One chapter had a small civil war over it. We take our isolationism seriously. Hmm. Uh. Uh, let's skip that. We don't know who Father Elijah is. Hmm. Wait, actually... He was our elder when we came east. A wizard with technology, really. His hmm. mind just worked Elijah. that way, naturally. I learned a lot from him. Hmm. But he started having disagreements with the other elders. The Brotherhood's interest is in old technology. He wanted to explore developing new tech. Hmm. And there were other ways he wanted to push. Other weapons. Ones with ethics questions attached. Rather than deal with him, they sent him east. That's Brother of Steel over in uh, Fallout 3. Alright. Hmm. Who are you? Someone just walked by me. It's the policeman. Alright. Where'd she go? What's in here? Nothing. What's over here? This bathroom. Hmm. Hey. More MP. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Nelson's back in our hands. Wow. I didn't expect to see you here. What can I? Uh. Not much to tell. Keeping the troopers in line and monitoring the strip keeps me busy. Now. Uh huh. Much familiar. What the hell? Welcome back. What can I do for you this time? Oh, it's the okay. She's the lady up front. Hmm. Mm hmm. Please. Private Jack Irwin. Well, look who it is. Glad to have you here, buddy. What can I do? Uh, huh. now, she may be a bit of a hard ass, but she's the best damn captain we've had here. I'd be careful around her. Hmm. What have you heard? Just because I happen to get into fights and like the. Uh, huh. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Stop doing that. It's annoying and freaky and pisses me off. <laughs> 